Hello and welcome to Daily Tech Video. In today's episode, we are going to see how to troubleshoot and fix the no service problem that all of a sudden pops up on your iPhone and you have lost your mobile carrier signal bars and you are not able to make calls or you know use the mobile data. It is important to find whether it is software problem or hardware problem. For that, I'm going to suggest four simple steps to help you identify whether it is software related or hardware related. The first thing is to start with the software. Go to settings after you are seeing the no service option on there uh, go to settings and then general and then swipe to the bottom and select reset there you can perform reset network settings and it will clearly give you the information that it is going to reset all network settings it is not going to delete any of your data so it is going to reset all network settings and returning them to the factory defaults so if there is any minor issues with the you know recent changes that you have made any vpns or any third party profiles you have installed and that have caused the no service issue then it can be fixed with a simple network reset also sometimes an ios software related bug can cause this sort of problem that can and also be fixed with a simple network reset for majority of the people the network reset itself fixes the issue if it didn't fix you are still seeing the no service error then you can click on the reset all settings and do enter the phone passcode and there you will see that this reset all settings will not delete any of your data or media it will be resetting all your iOS system wide settings so that rarely helps but i just want to mention it because some people did mention it in the web forums that the reset all settings have helped them to get the no service issue fixed so give it a try it is just going to you know take a couple of minutes and the next option is make sure that you are running the stable ios version here you can see i am running the ios 13 beta program i have installed the profile if you are not seeing any profile settings then you don't need to worry you can simply skip this step uh if you are seeing the ios 13 profile installed you can remove it and you need to perform the clean installation or ios restore by connecting your iphone with your computer i will do link an article and in future i'm planning to do a video about it like how to do the ios restore you can also of course uh, search in google or in youtube to find how to do the restore uh, all by yourself if the phone is under warranty it is important to not try it if you're new to iphone always take it to the apple service center to let them diagnose it properly and then they will help you to fix it by performing the ios restore if there is any software related bug you know the ios restore fixes it 99% of the time and the final thing we can do with the software is by going to general and then go to about and then you can swipe down and select in the modem firmware option simply tap on it once to see whether any update have come for your iPhone or not it automatically gets downloaded from your mobile carrier if it is not downloaded automatically then sometime visiting this particular page and tapping on the modem firmware will help you to download the carrier firmware latest version and it is important for you to connect to wifi in order to download that particular latest carrier firmware update so make sure the wifi is on and then tap on this modem firmware simply once or twice and you will see the pop up and if you are not seeing any pop up you know even after connecting to wifi you can turn on and turn off the airplane mode uh, to see whether any update have come for your particular iphone or not so this definitely helps for you know more than 50% of the time many people uh, you know end up running the old modem firmware or carrier firmware and uh, they eventually face this no service issue so software wise that is all we can do if everything you have done as mentioned uh, so far and still you are seeing the no service problem then let's move to the hardware troubleshooting part here you can see that uh, i am using the iphone box provided uh, you know the sim ejecting tool to eject the sim card and then uh, clean it once all you need to do is just clean it once and then put it back in for some people it really did work sometimes a dust or some kind of a debris you know can cause such sort of uh, issue uh, interference with the you know sim card and the detection so that can be fixed simply by cleaning the sim card another important thing is many people try to you know use sim cutters and cut their existing sim cards to make it a nano sim card and use it with their iphone it might be working uh, fine for you know for long time and all of a sudden you might be seeing this sort of no service issue because of older sim cards so it is important for you to visit the mobile carrier showroom and get a new sim card replaced and trust me 99% of the time it really did work that getting new sim card uh, always you know it works in india for me 
uh, Apple and uh, BSNL users mostly complain uh, this sort of issues and uh, uh, if you are also from India and you are facing such issues with your Apple or BSNL or Vodafone carrier then it is recommended to visit the mobile showroom once. If you, it's been a long time and you haven't got your SIM card renewed or replaced then it is 100% recommended to visit and get a new SIM card with latest modem firmware and you know all sorts of things uh, to fix this issue with your iPhone no service problem. Apart from this there are a couple more diagnostics that I like to suggest to you to make sure that your iPhone antenna and internal components are not damaged and if there is any accidental drop then there is possibility that your iPhone internals could be damaged that is causing the no service problem. So to make sure just to make sure that it is not the case you need to try with any other sim cards from your family or friends and uh, uh, you will see that if the no service problem still remains then the problem could be with the iPhone. Also try the same sim card with any other phones and if it is working properly then the possibility is that your iPhone is the one which is causing the problem. After trying all these steps I'm pretty sure that uh, by the time you know you will know where to visit to get your problem quickly fixed. If the iPhone is the problem you need to visit the Apple service center to get the proper diagnostics run on your iPhone and if it is a repair or replacement is required then it can be done. Based on the troubleshooting steps that we have tried right now you know you can visit your mobile carrier and then get the particular sim card replaced. If it is an eSIM which is the last possibility and if it is an eSIM you are using on your iPhone and you are facing this sort of problem no service issue then it is recommended to contact your carrier first to make sure that the eSIM data and everything is properly installed on your iPhone. You can simply check by going to the settings and mobile data to make sure that the eSIM data is present or not and if it is not present or if there is an issue then the mobile carrier mostly will be able to help. So that is all and I hope you have fixed your no service issue and you have at least figured out where the problem actually is so the fixing will be a lot easier right now. If you are new to our channel do check our you know channel videos. The latest videos there are plenty of tutorials and uh, you know some simple tips and tricks for your iPhone. Uh, do try them and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also you can like and uh, uh, share this video with your friends and followers if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe.